Hi friends, in this lecture we will discuss about the concept of pivots, pilot columns, basic variables, free variables and expressing the solution of system of linear equation in parametric form. In previous videos we discussed about Eklund form of a matrix where we describe what leading entries are. So, pivots are the leading entries of non-zero rows. Let us recall that leading entries are the first non-zero entry of a non-zero row. And the columns containing pivots are called pivot columns. Let us take an example to understand what pivots and pivot columns are. Let us represent the Eklund form of the augmented matrix of a system of linear equation by 1, 3, 4, 7, 8, 0, 0, 5, 9, 2, 0, 0, 0, 8, 4, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Observe that the leading entries of non-zero rows are 1, 5 and 8. So, these are my pivots. So, pivots are 1, 5 and 8. And the columns containing the leading entries are 1st, 3rd and 4th. So, pivot columns are 1st, 3rd and 4th column. Let us see what basic and non-basic variables are. In this example that we had just considered, pivot columns were 1st, 3rd and 4th. So variables corresponding to pivot columns are called basic variables. So in this case, the basic variables are x1, x3 and x4. And the remaining variables are called non-basic variables. So in this case, the only non-basic variable is x2. Non-basic variables are also called free variables. The concept of basic and non-basic variables are basically used to describe the solution set of a consistent system with infinitely many solutions. Let us now describe how to express a solution in parametric form using the concept of basic variables and free variables. Consider the system x1 minus x2 plus x3 minus x4 is equals to 2. x1 minus x2 plus x3 plus x4 is equals to 0. 4x1 minus 4x2 plus 4x3 is equals to 4. Minus 2x1 plus 2x2 minus 2x3 plus x4 is equals to minus 3. The augmented matrix corresponding to this system is 1, minus 1, 1, minus 1, 2, 1, minus 1, 1, 1, 0, 4, minus 4, 4, 0, 4, minus 2, 2, minus 2, 1, minus 3. Let us now reduce it to reduce row Eklund form. Since the first leading entry is 1, so we reduce this, this and this entry to 0 by applying the row operations R2 goes to R2 minus R1, R3 goes to R3 minus 4 times of R1, R4 goes to R4 plus 2 times of R1. After applying these elementary row operations, the augmented matrix now becomes equivalent to 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1, 2, 0, 0, 0, 2, minus 2, 0, 0, 0, 4, minus 4, 0, 0, 0, minus 1, 1. The next non-leading entry is 2. 
So let us make this one by applying the row operation R2 goes to 1 by 2 times R2. So now the augmented matrix becomes equivalent to 1, minus 1, 1, minus 1, 2, 0, 0, 0, 1, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 4, minus 4, 0, 0, 0, minus 1, 1. The next step is to make this entry 0, this entry 0 and this entry 0 by applying the row operations R1 goes to R1 plus R2, R3 goes to R3 minus 4 times of R2 and R4 goes to R4 plus R2 and now the augmented matrix becomes equivalent to 1 minus 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Now this is the reduced row echelon form of the augmented matrix of the system of linear equation. The corresponding equivalent linear system is given by x1 minus x2 plus x3 is equals to 1 and x4 is equals to minus 1. From reduced row echelon form it can be seen that these are my pivots. So the columns containing them that is the first column and the fourth column are pivot columns. So, my pivot columns are first and fourth. So, that means my basic variables are x1 and x4. So, that means that free variables are x2 and x3. The next step is to take the free variables as scalars, arbitrary scalars. So, we take x2 to be k1, x3 to be k2 and then in terms of k1 and k2 we get the value of x1 and x4. Since the system that we have we had got was x1 minus x2 plus x3 is equals to 1 and x4 is equals to minus 1. So from here we get x1 is equals to 1 plus k1 minus k2 x2 is equals to k1 x3 is equals to k2 x4 is equals to minus 1. So this is the solution to the given system where k1 and k2 they are arbitrary real numbers. Note that the system here has infinite number of solutions. Let us now see how we can write this solution in parametric form. So, x is x1, x2, x3, x4. Substituting the values of x1, x2, x3, x4, we get 1 plus k1 minus k2, k1, k2, minus 1. Segregating this vector as minus 1, 0, 0, minus 1, sorry, this is plus 1 here, plus k1 times 1, 1, 0, 0, plus k2 times Minus 1, 0, 1, 0. This is called the parametric form of solution of the given system. Note that here we have segregated this vector into a constant vector plus k1 times a vector and k2 times a vector. So this is called the parametric form of solution of the given system. Let us now see what happens when the system is 
inconsistent. Consider the system x1 plus 2x2 minus x3 is equals to 1, 2x1 plus x2 plus 5x3 is equals to 2, 3x1 plus 3x2 plus 4x3 is equals to 1. The corresponding augmented matrix to this system is 1, 2, minus 1, 1, 2, 1, 5, 2, 3, 3, 4, 1. Let us now reduce it to a simpler form to see what basically happens to this system. This is our leading entry. So let us try to make this 0 and this 0 by applying the operations R2 goes to R2 minus 2 times of R1, R3 goes to R3 minus 3 times of R1. After we apply these operations, the augmented matrix now becomes equivalent to 1, 2, minus 1, 1, 0, minus 3, 7, 0, 0, minus 3, 7, minus 2. The next leading entry is this. So let us now make this 0 by applying the operation R3 goes to R3 minus R2 and then this system becomes equivalent to 1, 2, minus 1, 1, 0, minus 3, 7, 0, 0, 0, 0, minus 2. So we can observe here that the last row here corresponds to the equation 0x1 plus 0x2 plus 0x3 is equals to minus 2 which is not true. Hence there is no value of x1, x2, x3 for which this system is satisfied. Hence this is the case of no solution. So this is an inconsistent system and the solution does not exist. Also note that in this equivalent form here the leading entries are 1, minus 3 and minus 2. So pivot columns are 1st, 2nd and 4th but 4th column corresponds to the right hand side. So it corresponds to vector B. So whenever B becomes a pivot column, the system is inconsistent. Hence, whenever we have a row of this form, where B is not equal to 0, the system is inconsistent. Thank you.